Exodus 2, verse 1, it says, And there went a man of the house of Levi and took the wife, a daughter of Levi. And a woman conceived and buried son. And when she saw him that he was a goodly child, she hid him three months. And this is dealing with Moses. Okay. Which we do, in fact, know he was an Israelite. Right. Let's jump up to. Uh, verse 16, because I want to get to the point. Okay. It says. I'll start at. 15 so it says, Now when Pharaoh heard the, the, this thing, he sought to slay Moses. But Moses fled from the face of Pharaoh and dwelt in the land of Midian, and he sat down by a well. Now the priests of Midian had seven daughters, and they came and drew water and filled the troughs to water their father's flock. Now, it says, Now the priests of Midian had seven daughters, right? We know that you come from the seed of your fathers, meaning these daughters, right? will be Midianites because their father's a Midianite. Let's continue. And the shepherds came and drove them away, but Moses stood up and helped them and watered their flock. And when they came to Reuel, their father, he said, how is it that that you are come too soon to today? And they said, an Egyptian, right? They've mistaken Moses for Egyptian because he was raised up amongst the Egyptians. But in fact, he was an Israelite. Delivered us out of the hand of the shepherds and also drew water enough for us and watered the flock. And he said unto his daughters, And where is he? Why is it that ye have left the man? Call him that he may eat bread. And Moses was content to dwell with the man. And he gave Moses Zipporah his daughter. Right? Which Zipporah was a Midianite woman. And she bare him a son and called his name Gershom. For he said, I have been a stranger in a strange land. <clears throat> you see? Now, hold on. Let's let's get this real quick, right? Because we know, hold on. You come to see your, your fathers. We know uh, his son Gershom was an Israelite. His son Gershom was a Levite. Okay? He dwelt with a woman from another nation, you stupid nigga. So what? Now, Gershom's not an Israelite because uh, Moses dealt with this Midianite woman? Is that what, that, is that what you're saying? That Israelite men, if we had, if we sleep from women from other nations, that they're not Israelites because we dealt with a woman from another nation. Oh, but the uh, only way someone can be an Israelite if the father and the mother's an Israelite? No. No. By the father. Okay? It says, a firstborn son of Moses in Zipporah, firstborn son of Levi, a son of the priestly family of Phinehas, who returned from exile with Ezra, Gershom, the name of four Israelites in the one we're speaking of uh, in particular, particular right here is Moses, Moses's son, nigga. OK, Moses, son was an Israelite. <laughs> it, it, this is oh, my God, this is plain. Let's continue. Let's go to um, um, King David. Right. Let's see. Second Samuel 11 verse uh, let's start at let's start at two. It says, and it came to pass in, the, in in an even time that David arose from off his bed and walked upon the roof of the king's house. And from the roof he saw a woman washing herself, and the woman was very beautiful to look upon. And David sent and inquired after the woman, and one said, it is, is not this Bathsheba, the daughter of Eliam, the wife of Uriah the Hittite, right? Let's see. Which is her father? A, a Gilanite warrior of David, but she was father. The, uh, the most high people of Eliam, an Israelite. Okay, so there's an Israelite named Eliam, and there's a people of Eliam. Let's continue on. It says, And David sent messengers and took her, and she came in to him, and he lay with her, for she was purified from her uncleanness, and she returned unto her house. And the woman conceived and sent and told David, and said, I am with child. Right? And David sent to Joab, saying, Send me Uriah the Hittite. And Joab sent Uriah to David. The point is, King Solomon's mother was not an Israelite, man. But in fact, we know King Solomon was an Israelite. How is that? If his mother wasn't an Israelite. Because his father, okay? he can't, His father was King David, which was an Israelite. And like I said before, before, you know, um, I had to start this second, uh, second part. 
um, uh, King David's grandmother, right? Ruth was a Moabite, man. Okay? But the line still continued through, uh, I believe it was a, was it, was it, was it Boaz, I believe? Let me see. Let's go to Matthew 1. Okay? Uh... Right, okay, so it was, uh, yeah, Boaz, okay? I believe Boaz uh, was dealing with uh, Ruth. Right, and we know Boaz what? As you see, an Israelite, okay? Boaz begot Obed of Ruth, and Obed begot Jesse, right? And Jesse begot David, uh, matter of fact, we started to talk, the book of the generation of uh, Yahweh Mashiach, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham begot Isaac, and Isaac begot Jacob, and Jacob begot Judas and his brethren, and Judas begot Perez and Zarah of, of Tamar, and Perez begot Asaram, and Asaram begot Aram, and Aram begot Aminadab, and Aminadab begot Nasan, and Nasan begot Salmon, and Salmon begot Boaz and Rechab, and Boaz begot Obed of Ruth, and Obed begot Jesse, and Jesse begot David the king. And David, the king, begat, begot Solomon of her that had been the wife of Urias. And Solomon got Rehoboam, and Rehoboam begot Abia, and Abia begot Asa, and Asa begot Josephat, and Josephat begot Jerum, and Jerum begot Ozias, uh, and Ozias begot uh, Joatham, and Joatham begot Akaz, and Akaz begot Ezekias, and Ezekias begot Manasseh, and Manasseh begot Ammon, and Ammon begot Josias and Josias begot Je Jehonez and, and his brethren. And by the time they were carried away to Babylon. And it goes on and on with the lineage. I'm going to just keep reading. It says, And after they were brought to Babylon, Jehonez begot Selenio, and Selenio begot Zerubbabel, and Zerubbabel begot Abiod, and Beod begot Eliakim, Eliakim, and Eliakim begot Azor, and Azor begot Sadak, and Sadak begot Akim, and Akim begot Elu, and Elu begot Eleazar, and Eleazar begot Mathan, and Mathan begot Jacob, and Jacob begot Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom born Yahawashah, who is called Hamashiach. So all the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations, and from David until the carrying away into Babylon are 14 Generations are from the carrying away into Babylon into a Mashiach or 14 generations. Did you notice something here? Right? With this whole lineage is speaking of all the way up until your house shot. Did you notice something? I noticed something. That is about st speaking of the men begetting, be begotting other, uh, uh, the children from them. Okay? It's not talking about the mother. Not, we're not, and, and we're not, I'm not saying that's to say the mother is a, uh, you know, the woman of our nation is not important, but I am in fact stating that a, hey, the woman of our nation don't carry the seed. Okay, all in all, the woman of our nation they have their role, man. Okay, they have their uh, role that the heavenly Father have gave them. Okay, but they do not carry the seed, man. Their their factor does not play in of uh, if if a child is an Israelite or not. It just it just doesn't, man. The scriptures say, say nothing like that. Okay. Like I said, as you see, like it says, Joaz begot Jehonas, right? Or Ezekiel begot Manasseh, and Manasseh begot Ammon, and Ammon begot, begot, right? And the Greek is uh, Ganao, Ganao. It says, a man who fathered children to be born, to be begotten. You see that? Do you see that? Okay. That's the point. Yep, that's the point. To be born, to be begotten. Okay. So hey, there you have it, man. So so what it what it, so what you got to say now, man? What what you gonna have to say now with this dumb argument you trying to use? Let's go back to it. So if a man from Judah marry a woman from Levi, the kids would be Judites. Correct. That does not mean if an Israelite men have kids by another nation. That the kids in the is an Israelite? Yes, it does because the man carries the seed, as you can see, right? I just gave you an example with Moses. I just gave you an example with King David. You see, 
Let's read it again, man. Because you, you guys obviously, man, just, you don't know, man. And you err not knowing the scriptures. And I, and I wrote that down. The book of Numbers 1 and 18, it says, And they assembled all the congregations together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers, according according to the number of the names from the twenty from 20 years old and upward by their poles. So, hey, man, y'all need to lead the teaching to the, men of the true men of the Lord, man. Okay? Just leave, leave, leave it to us to do the teaching, who the Spirit is dealing with. Okay? Because you guys are unspiritual and you're not appointed to 